Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we are going to take a look at Diablo 3 Season 23. This season we have decided to roll up a Crusader. And even if I don't make a ton of videos this season, I always like to make the one video where I get my first guaranteed primal at the GR70. Now the uh, Crusader is uh, level 70, obviously. We've been grinding a little bit and we did our season's journey. We're rolling with the, uh, the Roland set. Which means that our main attack is the uh, the big sweep attack here that hits everything in front of us. And uh, we are not 100% geared up for this. But we do have our gem, legendary gems that we're using. Uh, which are Bane of the Stricken. Um, the other one is the Gogok of Swiftness. And the Bane of the Trapped, of course, is the default gem in almost every single build on the planet. Because it's free damage. But... Uh, we're probably going to die a bunch. We'll go through the build after the run. But for now, let's just try to uh let's just try to get through this thing, dude. Look, we're getting hurt already. Look at that. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day today, man. If it's morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, I hope it's a good one. With this build here, we're obviously whacking a lot of stuff all the time. We're trying to use our horse as much as we can. Get that mobility going. That pack looks dangerous. We don't want to stay in the middle of that. Now, we do have a couple uh, cheat deaths here. Um, we have one with the uh, with the follower. And we also have one on our own from a skill. So one thing that is cool about this season is your followers now have full inventories. So you can go to your follower here and they have all access to all this extra stuff, dude. So you can give them set bonuses. Uh, we have a flavor of time, finally, that we can just benefit from. Of course, we die when we check at that, but whatever. Uh, we can benefit from the flavor of time, and we don't have to actually wear it or find a good one, which is freaking amazing, dude. I am super happy about that, because finding a flavor of time that doesn't suck has always been a big challenge for me personally. If you've been lucky and found an awesome one and it's a part of your build, I am happy for you, man. But as you can see, we have a lot of trouble staying alive. Even with our, like, lifesteal on hit and all of our, like, skills for armor, we're still having issues keeping our health up. And that's just because our gear is not, not super great yet. So we're just trying to make sure that we have... All of our stuff going as much as possible but since we have the flavor of time on our follower we uh we finally get those pylons the last double which is awesome oh my god is it getting hairy in there we're gonna die here but that's okay as long as we clear it i'm good with that we'll go over the skills and stuff and what i want to do going forward i don't think rocking the rollins here is our end all build for the season because I would like to try some stuff out I have played a uh, I've played a crusader before and I did the uh, the Akon Kadem build which you basically just walk around and everything explodes around you that was a super chill build to play this build is actually super chill as well you basically just button mash all of your skills when they're up and uh, use your horse when it's available dude and we're already in another floor. Ooh, look at this. Speed pylon. We love the speed pylon. But yeah, I'm missing some key pieces here. Um, Convention of Elements is one that I'm missing. And there's also some set pieces that are pretty difficult to get because they are craftable. And the recipes that you normally get for these particular pieces are uh, only like in the 30s. What are these guys? Oh, those guys were tricky. Little tricky buggers, huh? But uh, I will show you all of that after we figure out what this primal's gonna be. And I'm really hoping that we get one that we can actually use, dude. That would be the cat's pajamas. It is so rare that you actually get a primal that you care about. It's always like some BS that's good for like one thing or whatever, but not this time. Wow, we just got 
deleted. <laughs> well, that's alright. We knew this would happen. As long as the gear holds out, we're alright. But uh, a lot of these, like, elemental things and these bosses, dude, they are pretty rough. Look at all that, all that poison, and there's some really hard-hitting boys here. And a lot of those guys are exploding. You know what? We're just going to leave them alone for now. But that's all right. So since I'm not 100% sure, like, what the where I want to go with the character, I've been kind of saving, like, all of the... Uh, all the different Crusader specific gear, whatever seems good. Obviously, we're gonna grab a full Akan set if we can. We might have most of it already, I'm not sure. But I've just been kind of saving it as I go. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. I like to use my horse to just run around to a nice place to die. That's always fun. Not ready yet. But you know, we're not uh, we're not augmented. You know, we're not, we can't run max, uh, T, uh, T16 or whatever, rift farming yet. We're just not pumping out the damage. But, uh, we're doing okay. I mean, if you can deal with the dying, it's pretty fun. I mean, to run around and attack this fast. I remember the first time I ever played a Roland's character. I was just always amazed at like how quick the smacking goes. And sometimes you just gotta have a quick whack. Alright, here we go. Oh. But we've been doing okay with like Rift Guardians and bosses. We can usually out DPS them and lifesteal them. There it is, dude. What is it? <gasps> the primal looks like set gloves. Could it be Roland's Grasp Gloves? Could that be a ring that we need? A little convention of elements, man? Could this be an excellent run? I don't know. First, we're going to update our upgrade our gems here. We're just kind of spreading it across the board. Uh, sometimes I like to bump up one gem over the others, but, but these ones, their uh, utility is so spread out that I'm comfortable just upgrading them one at a time and just keeping them all about the same. All right, let us go check out our goodies. The best part of finishing a greater rift is You're the goodies, dude. And the paragon levels you get. Oh my god. Plus, there's a really cool thing we've been doing with the uh, the follower, and I'll show you. Please be Rollins. Please be Rollins. Please be Rollins. <gasps> One thousand strength. Oh, so good. Boom. What? Oh, we just lost some some stuff because. Let's see. What's our crit hit chance? Our crit hit chance is so high, dude. It's forty two percent. That's ridiculous. Damage is like low, so I'm cool with losing a little bit of crit hit chance here. A thousand strength, though, dude. Oh no, I want to crit hit damage, not chance. I'm actually going to re-roll this. Uh, do I want to re-roll it? What can I re-roll here? I could re-roll the area damage to crit hit damage. That would give us crazy boost. But that thousand strength and that resource cost... Ooh, I don't, I don't know what I want to do there, but that's okay. We'll deal with that later. Uh, anything else we hear? Uh, oh, that's a good ring. Not for me. And I'm using the Scoundrel. Uh, mostly because it was recommended to use for this, but because it increases a ton of stuff. Mostly our damage output. And I like that. But you can see uh, with the uh, follower having all of the gear here, I have these wrist guards on there, so picking up Gold Grant's experience, I have never leveled Paragon this fast before. I'm, what, almost 400, and I have not put in level 400 minutes worth of work, hours worth of work at all. It's been super quick, and I really, really like that. Uh, the follower also grants uh, bonuses with their set pieces here. 
So we're using a little Sage's Journey here. And you'll know that if you can share powers with your follower, because it has this word emanates there. So we have double the amount of death breaths at the drop here, which is awesome. So that goes for me. And then you can also put stuff inside um, the follower, like this broken crown. It also emanates. So if I put a gem in there, if I wanted to farm a specific type, um, I would just put it in there, dude. And I would get one every time. How cool is that? And a flavor of time, of course. The pylon effect emanates. Um, and there's a couple other things that I want for the follower, but I'm not sure what they are right now. But the skills that we're using for this build, um, obviously sweep attack, and we're going to use the blazing sweep there. Now, sweep attack really only becomes viable when you get this item to put in the cube, the golden flints. Sweep attack restores 6 wrath for each enemy hit and has its damage increased by 3,000. I'm also using Reaper's Wraps because I am constantly running out of uh, wrath. If there's not a lot of stuff to smack, you don't have a lot of power to do it. So um, Reaper's Wraps is a classic. You can get that recipe at level 70 when you kill uh, this guy in Act 4. Please be Act 4. Don't make me look like a huge dick on the internet. Act 4. There's a boss there that I can't see. It's Mathiel, I think. Arguably one of the hardest bosses in the freaking game. He killed me uh, twice, but I did get the recipe. Let's gamble some stuff, dude. So what we're hunting for, for our gear here, is uh, actually the, um, the Compass Rose and the Traveler's Pledge, dude. We want that... While moving, damage taken is reduced, and while standing still, damage dealt is increased. Because if you notice, a lot of times when we're moving, we're just stepping forward, kind of stopping a little bit, and then sweeping, dude. So I've been rolling on a lot of uh, amulets. But aside from Roland's, uh, we want the Compass Rose and the Traveler's Pledge in a ring spot. Uh, we do want to get Circle of Elements in our other ring spot. And if for Bracers, we're using Strong Arm for the enemies hit by knockbacks. Um... I think our follower knocks people back and maybe sweep attack does as well and for the belt the belt's kind of up in the air i've just been rocking a witching hour because it has critical hit damage and you want to do a furnace if you can, if you can find one because it does the extra fire damage and the damage against elites which is nice ultimately in the cube we'll have a We'll have uh, the one ring that makes it so that you don't have to have a full set to get the full set bonuses that I can't remember the name of. Oh my god. This is just great freaking content here. Luckily, I have all this bookmarked. So let's just take a look. And this is Bloodshed's rolling, like, push build, so... So for the ring, Convention of Elements, oh yeah, the Royal Ring of Grandeur, duh. And we want to put one on the follower as well, so that he can use, he, we're going to have him use a couple different sets. And what I want is this Captain Crimson set, and I can get more resist and more life per second. And it's got pretty good stats, if I can get the level 70 recipe, which I do not have. I'm pretty sure. Let's just check. Maybe it dropped off something I didn't know. So let's see. There's a belt. Yeah, it's all the way down here, dude. It sucks. And you can't actually put these in the cube either. The craftable stuff, I thought maybe I'd be able to like re-roll it up. Negative. You cannot do that. Let's gamble some blood shards. See if we can get the amulet we want. That is too expensive. Okay, let's see if we can get the bracers. Nope. I wanted the bracers that made like an enemy champion spawn every time you hit a pylon. I thought that might be neat. Do I have enough death breast to upgrade anything? I do not either. So we're kind of just up the creek. That's fine, dude. That's the game. So I'm super stoked that we got these. Uh, man, finally. It's been so many seasons since I've had a primal that was just best in slot. That is so cool. But do I ditch the area damage or the resource cost? Because I really need that extra crit damage, not chance. 
I'll be thinking about it. Plus, I transmogged my little character here. Look how awesome she is, dude. I went with a nice, like, blood theme with, like, you know, demonic tones. I don't know why. I just felt like... I, I usually never take the time to do that, but this season I was like, you know, we're just going to have some fun with it. And so our Paragon levels have just been going, like I said, insane. That is too expensive. I should probably be rolling strength here, but I'm not because of survivability problems. And we're just going to do that. Some armor. And we've been doing... It's been a fun season, dude. I haven't been, like, super frustrated or anything. I've just been kind of, like, chill with the whole thing, and it's been nice. So I think that moving forward, what we might do is go with the... Um, it's an Akan build, but it's, like, the Bombardment thingy and I'm not sure how it works but if I switch the build I will do it essentially you walk around and a bunch of bombs like explode behind you or something uh, we'll see we'll see anyway I hope you guys are having a fun season it's been really cool having the uh, the follower skills uh, everybody's been able to push faster been able to push higher been able to push farther and it's just been really cool to see do you want this ring my friend you know, it might almost be better. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I only want the follower for his skills. He's not really doing any damage. Like, I can't re-roll these rings to put dexterity on him, which is what the scoundrel wants. But every once in a while, I'll get an item with dex on it, and I give it to him just because, you know, just to keep him happy. But, um, it's been good, man. I think that's it. There's no need to drag it out any longer. That was the 70 primal guaranteed primal if you're rolling a seasonal character you will always get a primal when you roll when you run through a gr 70 and you just pray that it is something you can use oh our skills yeah so uh we're using heavenly strength which lets us wield a two-handed weapon but we take a uh take a hit we have indestructible which is our cheat death we got the holy cause the amount of damage we deal and uh we heal more when we do holy damage and a 1.5% strength bonus for every gem socketed. Akarat's Champion with Profit. Uh, Laws of Valor, Unstoppable Force. And Drawing Quarter with the Steed Charge. But I might change that to the skill that lets it... Like... What's the skill here? I might change this to Endurance. Because I'm really just using the Steed Charge for mobility. I'm not really using it to drag people around or like keep combos going i mean that's nice but i'm mostly just using it to move around a lot uh provoke uh we're using that with the hit me skill and sweep with blazing sweep iron skin with flash if you take damage while iron skin is active move to increase and you can move through enemies unhindered that's why it's going to be important that we get that traveler's pledge set so that we can keep a moving and that's all so be good to each other, man. If you're playing this season, let me know what you're playing. And if you're having fun, um, I've been, been playing a lot at night. So if you see me on, I mean, feel free to pop in the game, dude. We can have a good time. But uh, be good to each other. And I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to make more Diablo videos this season. Like I said, I'm not really sure. I mean, I could go through and do the whole, hey, these are my GRs. This is what we're running. Um... But, you know, it kind of gets old hat. But I know some people like to like to just play along. So maybe I will do that. Maybe we'll do a, uh, an 80 and an 85. Maybe 7. I don't know. We'll see. i got to think it over. Out of here. Take care.